What's up everyone, I'm Jace and I'm excited to share with you my new purchase of the Rogue Adjustable Bench 3.0. I just received it today. Um, I'd like to show you the unboxing, uh, bits of it, me putting it together, highlights of why I decided to pick up this bench as well as my initial impressions. So who am I? Well, I'm Jace, a personal trainer for almost 25 years, a former fitness competitor, as well as a self-proclaimed gym junkie for almost 30 years. So enough about me. Let's get right into the bench. So these are the three boxes I've received from Rogue for this bench. Um, from what I understand before, the benches all came together in one piece. Uh, now they figured a way how to get it all in different pieces, so that way the uh, shipping charge is a lot less. So this first box here seems like some of the uh, base pieces of the bench. The stem there. Got a pack of wheels. And the back portion of the bench, the ladder system, all in great condition, all look pretty perfect. So I got this email from Rogue and they mentioned for me to look out for this. So these are some cardboard pieces that are placed in here to prevent scratching moving around. As you can see, there's a piece right inside there and I think some people were missing that. So keep that in mind when you're, uh, if you get your bench. Now as you can see, everything's packaged really well, uh, really thick cardboard. Um, foam inserts to make sure nothing scratches. Um, so it's always, you know, as I expected, packaged super well and everything's in perfect condition. Too bad. I've heard of other people getting their son to help them and having to tell their son to walk away. Uh, that wasn't so bad. So yeah, what I suggest is um, take the spine here, put it on the ground, uh, take the pad, flip it over like this onto the spine to align the align the holes first and get it to squeeze in because it is, it is very tight. Then from there, take your bolt, put it in a little bit through the seat, both the seat hole um, and the spine hole. Then put it on top. You'll see if this spine is not straight, that it'll be harder to get the bolt in. Um, straighten it out. You can kind of push it in. I, as you saw, I used my wrench to kind of uh, turn and get it in more and more. And then what I suggest is kind of pull the seat down and you'll kind of figure out the alignment a little better. You'll see it from there. And then from there, you can get it all the way in, so. So I put this bench together, it took me about an hour. I'm actually super impressed with the quality of it. So what I really love is it could store vertically. In the vertical position, as you can see, it takes a very little room and in a small gym, like at a home gym, garage or basement, space is king. The back pad and the seat pad have laser etched angles that mark at different heights. So it tells you exactly what angle you're at. It has zero wobble. It is completely solid. It is like a beautiful tank that will not 
be destroyed at all. Because it's made from rope, I know that it's gonna be super premium quality. Uh, it's gonna be a tank and it's gonna last a lifetime. So that's it about the Rogue Adjustable Bench 3.0. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one.